This is the beta prototype of my portable environmental monitor. This is a rugged aluminum uh, enclosure that can fit your the palm of your hand. Uh, you can see it has some holes. Uh, this is for the dust sensor. On the back it's the air quality sensor, the BMP180 for pressure and temperature. And this tiny hole over here is a reset button. Uh, which you can use in case uh, something goes wrong with the device. This is still a beta and you might need it. Uh, right here is the uh, opening uh, window with some protection for the Geiger tube. This is a very sensitive alpha, beta and gamma radiation detector. Uh, on the side here is the antenna, the USB connector, the button to turn it on and the uh, two LEDs for the battery status while charging. Uh, let's turn it on. You need to keep the button pressed for a few seconds. You see some debug information at the start. It also does a battery checkup, so in case the battery is discharged, it will tell you so and it will uh, uh, shut down automatically. The menu has some nice buttons. You can press them easily with your fingers. Uh, the title bar has uh, a time counter and uh, on the right side is, um, is uh, the battery percentage. You can use the measure option and uh, you'll see data from all sensors in real time. Uh, the sensors uh, are grouped on uh, colors. Uh, the first are the ones coming from the BMP180, then the dust sensor and uh, the air quality in green. And uh, the last in red is the radiation uh, information. Um, the charts are uh, auto-adapting to the intervals uh, detected, so uh, they will uh, get some uh, minimum and maximum values and uh, they will scale to match those properly. I wanted to show you what happens when we approach the detector to our radiation source. Uh, you see the sound is uh, on, you can turn it off in the settings and there is also an alarm option. Let's uh, bring this uh, torite mineral closer to the detector. We are past the threshold level for radiation. You hear the alarm, we can stop it by pressing uh, on, on screen, but it will take some time for the radiation readings to get uh, below the alarm level. Also, the title bar red uh, flickering indication is gone. Pressing back, uh, we can uh, check the monitor option. This is for uh, letting the device uh, doing monitoring stuff, uh, reporting data over the serial, USB port or uh, directly to the URAD monitor server via wireless LAN. The wireless LAN part is uh, still in uh, progress as this is only a beta. Uh, it is currently able to connect to open wireless uh, access points but uh, for those with uh, an encryption we will need uh, to have uh, some kind of uh, software keyboard to enter the encryption code. The, the tube and the battery voltages are also displayed on the screen. Uh, you can leave it uh, in the monitoring screen uh, as it is here, as the LCD will time out in about 60, 60 seconds in order to save uh, power. The settings allows us to uh, turn the sounds off. I'm in a hurry, so I'm not very accurate at pressing the buttons. Uh, now the sound is off, including the alarm. You will get the red notification in the title bar for radiation, for instance. You can see it now. Uh, the next op option is the calibration. It is used for uh, debugging purposes to, to calibrate the LCD. This will be done nicer for the end user to uh, be able to take advantage of it better. The wireless LAN allows us to discover nearby access points. Let's see if this works. As I said, as a beta, the work on the wireless LAN part is uh, still in progress. Well, not as lucky as in tests. Never mind. This will get done properly later on. Normally in a few seconds you will get here a few buttons showing you the free access points around. And pressing one of those you'll get internet connection instantly and the device will try to send the readings to the URAD monitor server once every minute. Finally the shutdown button shows a nice pop-up for confirmation and pressing yes will turn off the device. Remember this is done on uh, an 80 mega 128. Uh, there is no um, operating system. There is not even Arduino. All code is uh, written from scratch. And uh, I'm happy that uh, the code manages to, uh, to show an interface, but also handle the sensors uh, in real time. Regarding sensors, there are some clever mechanisms that uh, ensure a very uh, fluent and dynamic workflow. That's about it. Thanks for watching.